good friend, Dallin. Um, he is the owner of DV Tune. Um, so we're just here to, to say hi to him and uh, check out his sweet ride that he has. Also, he's gonna talk to us a little bit more about uh, what he does for, for a living and um, you know how you can find him and um, how we can uh, work together you know, so that way he can grow his business as well as uh, you know, check out his ride. That's the main thing about our channel is that we wanna uh, drive around, find the cool rides, uh, interview the owner, obviously, uh, like Mr. Dallin here, and, uh, and just see what they like about their vehicles, what they don't like about their vehicles, um, and then also what's the, the next step, you know, what's up to your vehicle. Um, so yeah, let's start with that. Um, so this is Dallin Brewer, DB Tune, and that's Paul, and I'm Juan. Um, so. <laughs> I feel like I'm back in elementary school. <laughs> right? Hi, Paul. Hi, Paul. <laughs> Hi. Um, well, that's a good start. See, so, yeah, uh, hmm? I own a 2020 Toyota Supra. Um, it's the premium model. Or I guess it's not really a model. <laughs> <laughs> the premium trim level. Okay. What yeah. does that mean? What, what, what do you get with that? So the premium's got the bigger navigation touch screen. It's got a heads up display in the windshield. It's right. got, um, so you can see um, like a little hologram in your windshield. Hmm. It's got radar cruise control. It's got um, automatic anti-collision for both um, vehicles and pedestrians. It'll literally slam on the brakes and stop them before you hit anything. Mm -hmm. um, same with like the radar cruise control. It's pretty cool. I can like set it like 80 miles an hour and if I'm in rush hour traffic, once um, if all the traffic in front of me slows down, it'll slow down a complete stop. And then as soon as they start going again, it'll just start going again. I don't have to touch the brakes, gas, what? nothing, it won't wreck. Yeah, yeah. Um, so. it'll keep you from getting in wrecks. Um, it's also got the um, like sonar sensors all the way around it. So like <clears throat> you can see like anytime you're backing up, you it'll, show you stuff that's on the side of your car and the back of your car it's got like a little like radar thing hmm. um, and cool. uh, and then it's also got the bigger brembo brakes on it but the just a little bit bigger than than the, the regular base gotcha. model has so that's good so um tell us a little bit about what things you like about your car and why what things you don't like about your car and why so i mean obviously I love it. <laughs> I love pretty much everything about it. The, it's awesome the, the way the car looks. Um, I, I absolutely love the way it looks. It's got the double bubble roof. It's got, you know, just awesome styling cues. Um, a lot of people don't like the fake vents, you know, big controversy there. I don't really mind it. Kind of adds to the, you know, the looks of the car. Right. Um, the exhaust is really cool because it's got um, active, uh, dampening in the exhaust like it's got an exhaust valve that opens up when you put it in sport mode and it gets a lot louder mm. and gives you more power looks like a lot of new cars have that now these days huh? they come up with that yeah stuff. yeah um, <clears throat> and then also with with the premium model it, it also has a um, active suspension mm. so the suspension is constantly changing um, okay. To you know, dampen, stiffer and softer, and everything like that. Um, it's really, really cool. And even it's even got like a an active uh, like smart rear differential too. That with the electronic motor, <laughs> with the electronic motor in there, with uh, um, a bunch of clutch plates, and it'll go from sending power to each different wheel as it needs it as they're spinning within milliseconds of a time to 100% full lock. So you have plenty of traction it's and the suspension squats and everything to put weight over the rear wheels and everything it's just an awesome yeah, car it's crazy um yeah and, i mean where some things you, you're like man i wish they would have you know done better than this or you know some things that you hate about your car i mean i know you love your car but there's always something that you're like oh man i i really dislike this about my car yeah so you know some of the stuff <laughs> some of the stuff is you know you know, obviously the fake vents, kind of like what I mentioned earlier, they probably could have, you know, done with less of that. But um, one thing I really don't like is that there's no way to pop the hatch 
from the ex outside of the car, I mean, without using the, the key fob. Hmm. There's a button inside, and there's a key button on the key fob, but there's no exterior button. And oh, a lot of people complain about that. That's mm -hmm. weird. Yeah, you that, know? Is, that is different. Yeah, usually, you, like on my Infinity Q60 that I had, there's a little button on the tail light. You just push right. the button and it pops the, the rear hatch. Um, the 2020 Super doesn't have that. Um, another thing is, one thing that's like cool, but also they could have done better is there's an app that you can get on your phone and um, it's called the Toyota Connect app or the Super Connect app. And you can control your, your car from your phone. You can um, lock and unlock it anywhere in the world. You can turn on the alarm, the headlights. Um, you can roll the windows down. You can um, ventilate the car, stuff like that. But it doesn't have a remote start. Hmm. That's you know, wow. Yeah. <laughs> it has all these features. But yeah, all, this, all that technology and then something like <laughs> yeah. more simple, I, I'm guessing. And it's not, they only make them automatic right. so far. So it's like, why wouldn't you put remote start or at least have it an option or something? Nothing. There's absolutely nothing for it. So, no options on that, huh? Yeah. Really, really weird. Other than that, everything else, I love the car. Everything about it. Very nice. Well, tell us a little bit about like <clears throat> that your business, and uh, I know you go all over the world, um, tuning cars, tuning vehicles. That's your, your your main thing, and I mean that's awesome. Obviously, you're super tuned, right? Yeah, yeah. So I tuned it. Um, it's it's actually I'm trying to figure out the new race round that just released about ten days ago on it. Uh, it's pretty cool because you have map switching. You switch between four different maps on the fly with your cruise lever. Um, <clears throat> it's got rolling anti-lag, uh, like a launch control while you're driving, which is pretty cool. I haven't tested it yet. It's on there, but still, still trying to test it. Um, on E50, 50% uh, ethanol content, on my dyno, we put down 630 foot-pounds of torque and to the wheels and 500 horsepower to the wheels. Yeah. And all I have done to it is just a catless downpipe and an HKS drop-in air filter and a tune. Stock suspension, stock tires, stock everything else. That's crazy. Yeah, and that's with wow. ECU tech or ECU tech. But it, that's the company you use, right? Yeah, that's the, the main company I use uh, for tuning. Um, I'm one of their licensed tuners for GTRs and 370Zs, <clears throat> um, Infinity Q50, Q60s, let's see what else, uh, the Scion FRS, Subaru BRZ, Toyota GT86, and the, you know, 2020 Supra, um, and yeah, I tune a lot of cars, I've tuned cars in Australia, Japan, um, all over the US, um, <clears throat> for like my fit. Um, and then I had heard about the Supra, the, the new Supra coming out, and um, had seen all the spy photos, you know, everything, and I just was instantly drawn to it because I'm naturally I'm already a, a huge Toyota fan, um, and just was like super excited about it. Kind of like watched the whole build process, like you know, waiting for all the, you know, seeing all the prototypes and everything, waiting for it to come out, and um, I actually bought an Infiniti Q60. Um, last summer and uh in may and it was the 3.0 twin turbo um rear wheel drive and i tuned that and like you know had it wrapped actually yep. by juan over here it, you know? and uh had you know was doing stuff to that and then the new super got released and i'd wanted one for so long and i was just like it, it, i'd only had the infinity for three months or so and i just couldn't could it not get one? Yeah. There was a there was a two hundred person waiting list yeah. for my car, and um, I kind of got some connections at the dealership. <laughs> <laughs> I work on everybody's cars there, and good friends with like finance managers there, salespeople. Um, so uh, I let them know I was like, hey, I was actually working on a twenty twenty Supra. Um, for a customer and he told me that his car that he originally ordered was coming in that day um, and it's going to be for sale and because he got impatient he bought a launch edition one uh, a couple weeks earlier and I was working on his car and installing a downpipe but he told me and I called my buddy at the dealership right away and was like hey do you have his car and he's like yeah we just got it at like midnight last night he's like they're cleaning it up we're going to put it on the showroom floor right now 
um, there's already they're already calling people on the waiting list. He's like, if you want it, like you need to like act right now. And I was like, all right. And I'm like trying to install a downpipe on the Supra, <laughs> and I'm trying to get VIN numbers off of my you know my Infinity and my FJ Cruiser that I had, and so I could trade them in and like trying to do all this stuff and coming up with like trading money and everything mm -hmm. you know while doing this downpipe install, which was my first one I'd ever done too on the new Supra, and. I made it happen. I don't know how, why, but they, they pulled strings for me, you know, because I helped them out, they helped me out. It's just, you know, kind of like what we're doing here. Yeah. You know, it, you, you create a little circle and everybody helps each other out. Um, and so, yeah, I had no idea I was going to be getting a super that day. I had no idea. <laughs> it just all of a sudden. It was meant to be, man. Yeah. It was to be. Driving away in a brand new super. It's awesome. They pulled it straight off the showroom floor. Um, and people were, everybody was like, oh man, I was supposed to be getting that. I was like <laughs> minutes away from buying that. And I was like, yeah, dude, you're probably actually crazy. here before me, but <laughs> I pulled a couple strings. So, right. you know, that's, yeah, that's great. They just not say who it was because, you know, <laughs> yeah. well, I'll leave the owners I'm just kidding. At, at Toyota. They, that's the awesome. friends of all of them there. So that's their great. dealership, their rules. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, I mean, we should go and take a look at your car. Yeah. See, see what see what you got in there, and uh, you know maybe take it for a spin. Oh yeah. And, yeah. Then, and then you can show us, uh, you know, see what we can do, and uh, yeah. Do you have any questions for for no, for no. us? Do you have any extra questions? I have one more extra question. Yeah. Yeah. No. Um, no. I'm, I usually run E50 all the time, but right now I'm just on pump gas. Okay. Just because trying to dial in a new race from okay. just got released, so so I can have it for all my other customers. I'm, I've got customers in Idaho and Texas and California, Hawaii, and Yuma, Arizona, all with Supras that are waiting for me to get this tuned Man, done so one wow. is out with the new race drum. So yeah, and you can switch, you know, switch maps right there and have their, the cruising, Man. rolling, anti-lag and everything. So, so I, that's why I'm on pump gas right now to try to just get it all dialed in for everybody else because applying the race drum on there changed a lot of the tunes so i got to make sure everything's perfect right well, so you gotta try it first so before you still kind of in testing right now gotcha. so yeah yeah oh. so let's let's take your car for a spin then yeah let's go let's go